Welcome back. We are going to do a check of the recirculation filter. Uh, recirculation filters for the AC located inside the cab. I know in previous videos we've done some filter changes outside, but now we're going to go inside. So again, this is a 2018 Freightliner Cascadia chassis. This is a little bit different for the newer models. What you really need is a T20. Again, I have got it attached to an impact. First step is going to take this panel off right here. There's going to be about six, six bolts and then this will come, come out. So let's go ahead and get started. All right. So getting towards the end here, I've taken most of these bolts out. I just have one more left. Now, if you've got a newer Freightliner Cascadia, this is actually a little bit simpler. Um, let me go ahead and take this out here. Just get this light taken out here. Get this moved out of the way. If you have a newer Freightliner Cascadia, you do not have the T20 bolts that actually just clips in and you just pull uh, with a little tug out and that whole panel just comes out in one piece. So now the filter is located on the 2018. It's located up in this, you can barely see it. I'm going to bring the camera in, but if you stick your hand back towards this way, then there's a little cavity where that filter, where that filter is right back here. Pull out and then you get your, I had already pulled it out previously and you get a washable filter out and you can see this one is pretty dirty. Uh, this Cascadia has only 42,000 miles on it. So looks like it definitely needs to be done before then. Now, if you have a 2019 and newer uh, Cascadia, the filter is a lot easier to get to. It's in a little spot right up here. It's white and then you just pull up on it. Um, again, washable, take it inside, wash it out and just push it back in. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take this one inside, give it a rinse, and then uh, we will put it back in. All right, so I went ahead and washed this out. If for some reason it's torn or uh, just can't clean it, uh, these aren't very much money from Freightliner. I believe I heard they're about five to ten dollars. So, so don't worry if you do happen to need to replace the whole thing instead of wash it out. But this is a washable filter and didn't have any problems cleaning this one out. As you can see, really clean. And now we're just going to put it back up in there. I know there's some controversy on how to put it back in. A lot of people say, hey, you're supposed to take out all the these AC components. Um, but I've also seen success of people just sticking the hand back in there and uh, kind of gently pushing it back up into the compartment that it, that it goes into. Again, if you have a 2019 or newer, way simpler, there's a pocket you can get to and it just easily slides in and out. So um, let's go ahead and get to it. All right, so I got the filter in, you can, going to be very hard to see here because the camera wants to autofocus on things I don't want it to. There, so right there. That's the filter and you can feel it back here more. I'm not going to lie. It is a real big pain in the butt. Didn't take too long, maybe five to ten minutes of me slowly pushing it up. And I would highly suggest if you can find somebody with small hands or fingers that would probably be the best person to do this job you know it is a tight fit for even my my hand but like i said i just kind of slowly kind of pushed it up made sure that it wasn't wrinkling up or or bunching up on me because it obviously it's a filter you want it to go all the way up in there and, and do its job of filtering but if you're patient with it it will eventually go in there and it does feel like it's setting flat and it's not bunched up. So um, I call that a win. And now all you gotta do is reverse the steps of taking everything off. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.